Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are The Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And right now we're going to react to the Cars 3. This is the official U.S. trailer. Wait, the official one? Didn't they have a whole, I like, know, a whole bunch of them? I know, but that's the title of this trailer. It says official U.S. trailer. So I'm guessing there's huh. another one that's international that we haven't seen. But I it wonder came what, out... the what the other ones are like. I mean, if each one of them is like different. What, like international versus U.S.? Yeah, like, well, not by a lot, but... By a little, or was there more than just one U.S.? I mean, was there another Asian one, and was there another... I don't know. I haven't seen those. I wonder. But I'll tell you what we're going to go see right now, the U.S. trailer. Okay, here we go. You are about to become the biggest brand in racing. That's cool. That's Nathan Fillion. That's his voice. Movie deals, infomercials, product endorsements. You think you're famous now? <laughs> we'll be rich oh, beyond awesome. belief. I'm so happy that it's What is this about? Your legacy. Every time you lose, you damage yourself. Physically and metaphorically? I'm sorry. Your racing days are coming to an end. Oh. That makes sense. I guess it's when the first one was, Yeah. Way to crush dreams. This race today wasn't his last. I decide when I'm done. How are you feeling? I can't go out on the track and do the same old thing. It won't mm -hmm. work. <laughs> Futile to resist change, man. You know what I'd do? What? Hmm. I don't know. I got nothing. Aw, oh, Mater. I am so excited to train you. I like a challenge. <laughs> I call you my senior project. <laughs> 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 You'll never be as fast as Storm, but you can be smarter than him. The racing is the reward, not the stuff. Storm's chances of winning are 95.2%. That's so encouraging. <laughs> I have to admit, that sounds like a really good story to tell. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like, what is it, the Rocky Balboa kind of thing of him coming back. Um, but it's a you know a good little theme to kind of go with, especially it fits yeah. for this storyline and the genre. I think it's kind of like, it made me a little sad. Everybody's like, oh, <laughs> you're going to be my senior project. And it's like, oh, you're just too old. And I'm like, old people can still do cool stuff. <laughs> and it's yeah. always cool to see these and you know it's characters that we actually liked yeah you know in the first one they're the ones those were the ones that we really attached ourselves to yeah and they're all back in this one as it seems so and he and he goes back to Radiator Springs mm -hmm. how to, excited to visit. are you about Nathan Fillion uh, I'm not gonna lie I geeked out when you were like that's Nathan Fillion I was like <laughs> <laughs> I picked his voice out right away but I love that was a great way to start it too yeah it's kind of giving you that um, showmanship into it and then he's like well you're retiring. Yeah. Your racing days are coming up to an end. Yeah. And then, you, then you get serious. Then you get into the story, and I just think that's a great way to have. That's a hard. That's gotta be a hard pill for lightning to swallow to mm -hmm. be told that hey, you can't race anymore. And it's like it's kind of reality too if you think about it because the art cars are always going to be younger, stronger, faster. Mm -hmm. And you know he's this one model, and it's just like he can't compete with the technology these days that they're putting in these cars, but. He has experience, just like we saw in the first one yeah. when he met the the older race car, whose name I can't remember right now. But you know that was kind of the case then too. He was like that young, cocky race mm -hmm. car, and but he had to be taught. He had so, learned something from yeah. an old expert. But it doesn't seem like the way it's gonna. He's not like passing the torch on to to Storm. That it just seems like he's kind of 
finding himself again. Yeah, that like, he still has one more race in him. And then he can be satisfied and then maybe mm-hmm. retire or who knows, How who knows awesome what. awesome would it be, though, if he loses in the end? It is that it's kind of like it's almost a tie. It's so close. Yeah. And they go down to the photo finish and it is Lightning who loses by a hair. And... But it's still kind of like, you know, in, in the first Rocky, like he, still... he loses by split by decision. Everyone was voting against him, but yet he still did more than anyone expected. Do you think that at the end, if that it's true what you're saying, like, let's just say he does lose by a hair. And at the end, like the storm is like, I'm the winner. But like nobody talks to him because he's like <laughs> this cocky car and everybody goes to lightning. I, I wonder if they're just going to do that. They could. If they really, it depends on how much of a villain they build yeah. Storm up to be. Yeah. Then, I mean, are they going to have him be like, hey, you know, in what is it at the end of um, Rocky? It was kind of like that too. He's like, they, you know, they still, you know, shook hands. Yeah. Well, I guess we have until June to find out. So in the meantime, go ahead and comment in the comment section below your thoughts about this trailer. Let us know what you thought. And as always, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next reaction.